Aloha is a worried woman. Her one and a half year old child, Karen, has just been diagnosed with malaria. From past experiences, Jennifer knows only too well how fatal this can be for a child. She fears for Karen's life. But all hope is not lost. There are organizations in Kenya like Kenam that are working to save the lives of children like this. In Kenya, malaria is the biggest cause of mortality and morbidity, being responsible for even more deaths than HIV and AIDS. The most affected being children under five and pregnant women. Malaria is the number one killer in this country. Uh, in fact, 40% of our disease burden in this country is malaria. For every case that is taken into a hospital, or for cases that are even unreported, due to malaria, you'll find that they are the highest contributor to deaths, especially of infants. It's a, it's a major killer, it's, it's a quick killer, it kills very fast. You don't take a long time with it, like HIV AIDS. Maternal mortality and maternal morbidity, much of it, or most of it, are, have been contributed by malaria. I know somebody who died for malaria who could have not died. Because of this, an organization known as Skenam came into being in 2001 to supplement the efforts of the Kenyan government to eliminate the burden of malaria in this country. Kenam, an acronym for Kenya NGOs Alliance Against Malaria, is a national network of over 72 active members. They have one common goal, to eliminate malaria in Kenya. Kenam began in the year 2001 informally as a loose uh, grouping of NGOs that were interested in looking at malaria issues in this country. After the Kenam Secretariat was formed in 2005, the advocacy work that Kenam has done has been critical in fighting this disease. The purpose for bringing Kenam together initially was to bring collaboration uh, between its members and the government. Over the years, of course, Kingdom has also metamorphosized into an advocacy tool for the members, but also it has been at the forefront of trying to make sure that uh, the issues of drugs within the country, uh, availability to community is uh, a key point. With a large network of active members, Kenam has been able to coordinate the work that is being done in the prevention and management of malaria. Great strides have been made in winning this war against malaria, but it hasn't been easy. Previously, monotherapy drugs were used to treat malaria, but they developed a resistance and were phased out and ST drugs were introduced. Initially, we had what we call the SP which was used, but when its effectiveness was waning, the government um, changed policy to adopt the artemisinin-based combination treatments in 2004. But every good policy needs good implementation. The policies that are set by our policymakers, uh, I'm not sure whether the implementers on the ground understand very well some of these policies. We have very effective interventions that can practically eliminate malaria in this country. But there are many, many people who do not have access to them. The ACT drugs, which are free in all government hospitals, do not always reach the people on the ground. Accessibility is a huge problem in most remote places as people have to walk several kilometers 
to reach a health facility. Accessibility to this drug is often the difference between life and death. I was brought, I was brought a child, yeah, who had those we call conversions. Where I was up to where a garage dispenser is, it is about 15 kilometers. The child collapsed on the way. In fact, they came back crying because the child stopped breathing before they reached before they reached the dispenser. Uh, I would say even in our area of working, the same problem is there, or the same challenge. We are due to distances, a lack of transport, sometimes it's just resources. Basically, mothers are not able to reach the facility, so to, uh, to see for the children. This is a reason why Kenam has been advocating for the deregulation of drugs. In contrast to the monotherapy drugs that were there before, ACTs are currently prescription drugs only, which means that they are only available in government hospitals and faith-based health facilities. There are NGOs like Sustainable Healthcare Foundation that are working hand in hand with the Kenyan government to set up dispensaries closer to the people. Within Chef, uh, we really support the Division of Malaria Control, especially in the area of uh, uh, ITN distribution, as well as uh, providing access to the first line anti malaria drugs. Although Kenam and its members have been working hard to improve accessibility, there are still a number of Kenyans who have no access to the life saving drug. The call for the deregulation of the ACT drugs is resonated everywhere. These drugs is only available in the big hospitals and the dispensaries. But uh, outside that area, the drug is not freely available. So I think that the drug should be uh, deregistered. Let's avail the treatment of malaria everywhere, isn't it? So that people can access them, even in the kiosk. Because sometimes you arrive there when malaria has already killed you. As a Kenyan, it means, and more importantly for the community persons, is that I'm able to walk to the nearest shop and be able to ask for ACTs, and then I have access for those drugs. Those drugs could be the difference between me dying and me living. Some of the time, even after walking long distances, the ACT drug is not always available at the health facilities. Mary Atieno's four-year-old son got malaria, but when she took him to a hospital, he did not receive ACT drugs. <laughs> That is one of the challenges we face with the availability of antimalarials to the end user. So we are working on that. We hope that will be sorted out. This is the reason why Kenam is advocating for better management of funds like the Global Fund. The resources that you're getting